going on guys Matt here and welcome to the first episode of this Leeds career mode series uh, if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe before we start also ring the bell for notifications every time I post which is daily uh, so yeah so you'll be fully informed when I do post right and so we're gonna get straight onto the squad for Leeds very excited about this one and I hope you are too that is not the formation we are going to be playing I'm going to change that soon uh, whenever I do start a career I do like to have three players in the positions uh, obviously for backup uh, so let's get on to keepers Casilia is obviously going to be our main keeper uh, Meslia if I've said that right uh, I do apologize before we do start to any Leeds fans or just anyone in general um, I might not be, be able to pronounce the players correct so yeah I'm still learning so I do apologize please don't uh, get mad at me so yeah he, he's gonna be our backup keeper for Casilia. Uh, so on to left backs looks like we've got decent left backs in Dallas Douglas that I know of who's at Wolves previously helped him get up uh, from the championship as well so great boy he was for Leeds uh, Aliaski is also there, but we are going to play more of a winger. He won't be anywhere. Oh, I'll try not to play him at left back anyway, unless we have to. But I want him fourth at the field. Centre halves looks like we could do with a couple of centre halves, one maybe two. Uh, so it looks like White and Cooper will be our main two centre halves. Berardi's not a bad backup either, 71. And then other than that, we haven't really got anyone. We got 58 rated, a 60, and then another 60. So yeah. Yeah, centre halves is something we've got to look into. Right backs, looks like we've got two with Ailing, probably. Uh, I'd say probably the best right back in the league. I, I really, I am a fan of Ailing. Really, am a fan of Ailing. Uh, lo love how he gets forward, and uh, he's he's just unbelievable. I think so. Big fan. So he's going to be our main right back, and obviously we're going to have to bring another two in because I don't think. I think I'm saying it right, Hassana. I don't think he's going to cut it at rated 58, so looks like he'll be going whether it's on loan or transfer listed. Uh, so we need to bring in two right backs, two decent right backs, just as a bit of cover for Ailing. So on to centre mids, we've got quite a lot to pick from. So there's a couple of players, Forshaw, Click, got uh, Shackleton, Harrison as well, obviously he's on the left, sorry. But he's a good player. At least we've got a good left winger. And then, so it's going to probably be Phillips and uh, Click. And then we got we have got a couple of decent backups. So I'm not too bothered about the centre mids, to be fair. So it looks like just other areas we need to strengthen at the moment. So centre mids do look okay. Uh, centre attacking mids. So I do like to have three. So they look okay. With Hernandez probably starting. Roberts will be uh, our second string centre attacking mid with uh, Matthias Bo Bogus, if I've said that right, I apologise, but he's 17, Polish, only 61, but being 17, we got a lot of time to uh, get him trained, get his attributes up, and maybe you can get ahead of Roberts and uh, Hernandez, we can see. So on to right mids, uh, a couple of right mids, uh, Howard Acosta from Leeds as well, he's a good player, only 25. Uh, Jordan Stevens, only 19, 61, so he's someone we can uh, train as well. Uh, and Pavida, I'm yeah, maybe, maybe it's saying like that, but I'm not too sure. Uh, another 19 year old, 61, so a lot of potential leads I've got. It's good to see their squad, they've got a lot of youth. So, but it doesn't look like we've got much in terms of left mid. No, so it's just going to be Harrison by the looks of it. And, oh yeah, we've got also got, where is he? Alioski, who's going to be on the left as well. So, maybe bring one more left mid in. Uh, two right backs, maybe a centre half, uh, and maybe a striker by the looks of it. So, Augustin looks like he's a decent player. 75, 22, I know he's on loan, but let's have a quick look at his attributes. No, skill moves is four. Weak foot is three stars, so it's not too bad. His acceleration is 83, spin speed 80. So, yeah, there's a lot of positives in that. He's a long shot taker as well. So, yeah, he looks decent. He's probably going to be our main man with Bamford being second string. And then uh, Mujica. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uh, 
He's 65. I think he's currently out on loan. So may, he's maybe someone we can bring back. Yeah, currently on loan at Villarreal. So only 20. Maybe someone we can bring back in training. Which you know, in fact, I'm going to do now. We're going to call him before we do anything. To be fair, 115 grand. It's it's not the cheapest, but at least we've got three strikers now. But I can still look in the transfer market for someone. But it's other positions. So a left mid and someone that we need. Uh, two right backs. We're going to put him on the transfer list. Straight away. Uh, yeah, two right backs. And I think that's a, maybe a centre half. So, yeah. Uh, just leave any suggestions, guys. We'd really appreciate it. So, yeah, any suggestions for transfers? Yeah, just leave in the comments. So this is a formation I like to play, a 4-5-1, with a cam just behind uh, the, the striker, so always supporting. Uh, I have the two fullbacks on attack and always overlap, and the two wingers on stay forward. Uh, also the cam is on get into the box and free roam. So very attacking. Uh, I keep the centre mids as they are, so I don't really like them bombing forward too much. Uh, just to the fact that we, we can get exposed, obviously with how many players we get forward, but it's, it's always capable of scoring a lot of goals, um, which is something I want to do, attacking football, entertaining football, so yeah. So we are in a pre-season tournament, uh, I did decide to do one, uh, I also chose the hardest one, which is the most prize money as well, obviously if we do win it, uh, it's more money for the transfer kitty, so... I am just going to get through this, by the time you're back with us, the tournament's going to be over. Uh, we'll see how we've done, whether we've won or lost or, or whatever, and then uh, we'll do some more transfers guys. Right then guys, we've managed to get to the final. Uh, so I am going to play this game, but first I'm going to show you a bit of the players we've scouted, just so you can get your input in the comments, and then obviously next episode we start in our league games and um, we can look what transfers we've got in but I do want your your input so the only way we're going to do that now is obviously if I show you the players uh, what we've scouted and then play this game finish the episode off that but and then it gives you time to comment and then by tomorrow then I can start the video again and obviously going off from what your comments are saying we can get the transfers in you want so yeah Copenhagen in the final uh, so I'll quickly show you how we are looking in terms of the scouts have come back. So obviously at the moment we're scouting right back, left mid, centre back and attacking mid. So there is a couple of decent players in. Uh, Fosu Mensa from United, 21 right back. Good player in his uh, last year, so not too sure how much he's going to cost at the moment. But very good player, only 21. Uh, Mike Van der Hearn, the centre half we needed uh, from Swansea last year, six foot three. Uh, I don't think his pace is the best, but look at his strength, he's jumping, so he's going to be a beast in the air. Uh, he is currently rated 5.5, so hopefully we can get him cheaper than that being in his last year. Uh, they've also come back with Robbie Brady. Uh, his release clause is 14 million, so yeah, highly likely no one's going to. Uh, pick that out for him so but yeah being in this last year we might be able to get him a bit cheaper Sammy Amiobi as well I think he'll be a lot cheaper than Brady uh, he's a decent player for Forest uh, he's very skillful I've seen him a couple of times so he's a, someone we can bring in someone very likely I probably will bring in uh, Daniel Ayala centre half Middlesbrough only rated 2.7 28 years old 6 foot 3 centre half uh, good player and being only valued at 2.7 and he's in his last year of the contract so we could get him a lot cheaper uh, they've also come back with Eliasson left winger from Bristol City uh, only 23 so someone we can train up into a world beater so and I'm sure he, he's rating his like 70 between 70 and 73 so obviously we'll have to find out in seven days time what his full rating is. Nathaniel Klein has come back as a right back as well from Liverpool, which I'm sure everyone knows. Uh, so potential, but until obviously these are fully scouted, we're not going to know uh, their full ability. And then Sean Hutchinson from Millwall, 28 years old, uh, a lot of greens there in strength, jumping and aggression. 
uh, so something you need in a centre half so he's very likely and then we had a couple more come back so just trying to whisk through these uh, now he's centre half these obviously I'm not too sure about so it's more the English ones that we probably look more to get in but Xavier he looks very decent potential uh, Cesar but we'll have to come back obviously after the episode after this first episode and see what's come back but uh, Karaka uh, right back so he's decent and then we'll have a quick look at the others the final one so Garcia from Osasuna centre half Gonzalez right back Kolak from Deportivo, centre attack in mid. Uh, Lopez is a right back, 24 years old from Levante. And then we got last one, a centre attack in mid. He looks very good. Very good. So, yeah, let us know your impact, guys. Uh, obviously, it's all coming down to you. So I want you to uh, let me know about the transfers you think, but I think I'll be looking more for the English talent because we know who they are. But some great players here have been scouted already someone we can get in a potential uh Fosu mentor which hopefully we can what a player we will be yeah so a couple of others have took my eye but yeah i want to see what your input is guys so this is how we line up then guys in the final against copenhagen uh as you can see it's not our strongest team just due to fitness so a couple of new lads come in uh, a couple of the uh, young boys uh, a couple of players obviously that aren't rated the best so unfortunately, um, we've had to pick them just due to fitness from our main lads. Uh, but a couple of the first teamers are still in. So Aileen Dallas, uh, Click Phillips as well, uh, and Casilia. Alioski comes on the wing as well, so he gets a start. Uh, Bamford gets a start up top as well. But the two centre halves rate 60. And Phillips as well, and our centre attack in mid in uh, Bogus. I think I've said that right, I'm not too sure. Uh, is 61 so yeah it's not the best but we'll see what we can do hopefully we can get a win we we'll get some more money into that uh, transfer kitty and get some better sign into so final then get to Copenhagen as you can see Leeds fans in the background flags are flying high lovely to see and there's a trophy that we can potentially win uh, it'd be great if we do but not the end of the world if we don't the season's the uh, the main thing getting out of the championship into the Prem so yeah we'll see what we can do this is just mainly obviously for the uh for the money the money side but hopefully we can win a trophy it'd be nice to get our first silverware of the season work it over to phillips now it's bamford gets a run from click gets a shot from click and we get a goal from click six minutes in leads what a start that is our first chance of the game and what a goal it is Click fires it into the back of the net. Bamford does well. A little through ball there. Click bit of space. Gets a shot away before any defender can close him down. And puts Leeds 1 0 up in the final against Copenhagen. And what a start it is. We've got it on the wing now. Copenhagen, can they do anything from this? 24 on the clock. They can get the header. Endoy wasn't the best. But Copenhagen's first real chance of the half. Poor effort. Phillips plays it to Aileen. Aileen, can we get the cross in? We can. Oh, what a miss that is. Don't know what happened there, but he's absolutely skied it. Casey. Out to Alioski. Alioski gets the ball in. Can we get there? What a save. Bamford with the effort. Their keeper. What a save that was. It was a great ball as well from Alioski. Bamford gets in front of his defender. Fair enough, it's kind of straight at him, but yeah, still has to make the save. Click. Click. Finds Phillips. Oh! Phillips with the effort. What a save there, keeper. Jesus. What a save. Phillips. Al Capitano. Keeper pulls off a great save. Dallas. Beats his man. Bamford. Oh, can we? Oh, it's a sweaty goal. <laughs> it's a cheeky goal. But it's a goal that puts us 2-0 up. We needed it. Bit of a uh, bit of a cushion now. 
Oh God, we needed that. 40 minutes to play in the second half. Bamford does well. He does really well. And there it is. Just little guided shot back into the back of the net. Puts Leeds 2-0 up in this final. Phillips inside to click. Back to Phillips. Phillips with a shot. Phillips. Oh, I thought that was in. Phillips. That's a great ball. Click. Oh, Alioski, is he onside? He is. It's 3-0 in the final. Copenhagen haven't got a clue what to do against us. They haven't threatened at all. Alioski, we get a bit lucky to be fair. We try a little pass there, but it falls back to us. Even better position. Alioski, left footed effort, drills it across the goal. Puts Leeds 3-0 up in the final. Copenhagen deep into stoppage time now. Oh, they've got through ball. Oh, they've scored. It's only a consolation though. But one minute into stoppage time, two remaining. They do get on the score sheet. And it, to be fair, it's a well worked goal. That's a great little through ball. Left footed shot into the back of the net. Copenhagen pull a goal back. 3 1 still though to Leeds. So the last couple of seconds, not long left now. And there's a full-time whistle. 3-1 winners. Oh, yes, we've won the cup. Great to get some silverware. And here it is. The lifting of the trophy. The lads go up to get the medals. And it's a not a bad-looking trophy either to win. First game we've played. Some silverware. 3-1 winners great performance as well they never really troubled I know they scored a goal but other than that they didn't really trouble us Phillips about to lift it and he does Al Capitano lifts the international friendly cup trophy so for the final as you can see we won just over two million so that's very nice uh, just above as well uh, Hasana he was gonna go to Berry but it's it's broken down just due to uh, what is it as a result as which agreeable terms so that's unfortunate would have got us a bit more money in so let's have a quick look how much we actually have in the transfer kitty uh, what we got to work with so massive massive budget of 19 million wage budget 209 we probably don't even need that wage budget we probably could put some more onto our transfer budget so I think I'd, I'd say about 150 so I do want to bring some big name players in so we'll have about 20 million so yeah about 20 million I'd say so that's great great budget as well we want about three four players in but of decent quality so let us know guys obviously your input is everything so let us know in the comment section uh, I hope you did enjoy the episode if you did smash that like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so and ring that bell so you get notifications every time I do post. So you could be the first to check it out. Uh, and I do appreciate you watching the first episode, guys. I hope you do stick with it. And uh, I hope you haven't got too frustrated with me for saying players' names wrong. Um, I do apologise. But yeah, let me know if I am. So yeah, guys, I'll see you next episode. So take care and I'll see you soon.